the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Titans and the Bucks coming up next. Few better places in the country weather-wise this time of year than this one right here, Tampa, Florida, and beautiful Raymond James Stadium. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Tennessee Titans taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, the vibe, a different one here in Tampa this year. This is year 1AB after Brady. What can they do to help soften the blow? I would say try and lean on the defense a little bit more. I think they'll play a lot better in 2023. We know how exotic they can be with how they get after the quarterback. Make sure they slow people down running the ball as well. Give this offense a chance to grow because they are under new management. But meanwhile, the Titans last year, they were one of those strange statistical anomalies, CD. When you look at their defense, they were the best in football, number one overall against the run, but worst in the league, number 32 against the pass. And part of the reason they were number one against the run, the struggles they had slowing people down through the air. So people threw it and threw it and threw it and had great success. And a team that should have been in the playoffs last year somehow managed to miss it. Here's the former Illini kicker, Chase McLaughlin, to get us started. And off we go from Tampa. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So a new face at quarterback for the Titans in 2023. It's the 24-year-old rookie out of Kentucky, Charles, Will Levis. As if this motivated young man needed an extra chip on his shoulder. He certainly got one more when he slipped to the second round of this year's draft. This, after he was discussed, is a possible top five pick. As he likes to tell everyone, I've got a cannon for an arm, and I'd love to show it off. Levis will look to throw on the first play from scrimmage. And incomplete to open things up. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Second and ten. Levis. It's complete. This is Derrick Henry. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. So, Charles, yeah, take nothing away from this young man under center because I know people think he's got a very bright future in this league, but I have to figure the defensive coordinators I love the thought of squaring off against a rookie quarterback. And especially if they have guys they can put together a game plan with that's going to confuse, disguise a lot of coverage, make this kid think a little bit. Because in college, he's seen a lot of things. Let's, let's not get it wrong here. But at the same time, in the NFL, you can do so much more because of the athletes you have, because of their football IQ. And don't forget, you're going to throw a couple extra rushers at him as well. See if he can handle the pressure when those guys come at him. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. And here's a handoff out of the gun. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second and nine. Levis back to throw. His throw incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But it turned him up to the task and forced the incompletion. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Here's Levis. Work in the middle of the field, and he's 
got a man complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 33 yards that time. Let's just call it as we just saw it right there, a breakdown defensively. Seems like no one went with the tight end, and no one really did. Had all sorts of space in the middle of the field. Yeah, everyone else was covered, but he was not. Big play results. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to the ground now, it's Henry. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. In motion is Phillips. He'll get it here on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one that may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. They give those two yards right back, and now they're looking at a third and ten. Well, as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a wall. And it's a Titans touchdown! DeAndre Hopkins, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Titans are on the board first here on the road in Tampa. They got to love that. Nine play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc. Full connects on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So out come the Bucks now for their first drive. And bringing them out is the top pick in the 2018 draft, fiery competitor from Oklahoma, Baker Mayfield. And he's a guy who plays with a lot of emotion. He's learned how to channel it really positively because when he throws the football downfield and makes a big play, he'll be the first guy downfield to celebrate with you. But also, when his team needs that confidence, when they need that jolt, they turn to him, and he's ready to provide it. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Mayfield off the play fake. He'll get that out to the flat to White. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable. Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Mayfield. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Mayfield. This is White on the screen. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain.
third and 19. Mayfield now. It's caught by Mike Evans. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 42. Third and 19, no problem as they're able to convert. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. Like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master Surgeon at work. And he's got it to about the 40. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Ball on the 40 now. Here's a second and eight. Now Mayfield. Quick throw, finding Mike Evans. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 29-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. First down, here's White. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. On second down, they'll run with White. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to 15. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. This ball complete to Durham. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. First down marker at the five. It's second and goal. And now Mayfield on the bootleg. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Throwing Mayfield. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out. So obviously they will decline the penalty there and the result is six points. Chase McLaughlin on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Seven, seven.
Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Levis now on first and 10. That'll be complete to Okonkwo. And he'll be drawn just shy of the 35 at the 34. A pickup of 17 on a play that originated at the 17. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive. It comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw. They went through two-minute drill, and they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. No gain on the play there, second down. It's rare that a man his size can't at least push forward for a yard, but they stopped him there for nothing. You're talking about Tiny? You're talking about the little guy back tiny. there? That monster. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space. The first guy in, he's got to take one for the team, right? Because he's just waiting there and holding on for everyone else to help him out. for a net gain of nothing. Now here's third and ten. Levis to throw it. Uh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. And that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down per minute and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. On uh, fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on the punt. Back deep for the box is Devin Tompkins. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. They start to drive with White. And they showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Now a whole lot of real estate. But a nice carry. Give him 10 yards on the pickup. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. They keep it on the ground. White again came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. He completes it right side of the line. So the completion good for just three. And that'll make it second down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Second down, Mayfield. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 
Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Seven, seven, our score after one. Second quarter now in Tampa Bay. It's the Buccaneers in control of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. Mayfield to throw it. This ball complete to Trey Palmer. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. It's a gain of 34. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. White, he'll try the left side. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. They'll go up the middle with White. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Rashad White. 12-yard touchdown run, and the Bucs have taken the lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of a season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Mayfield looks to throw toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. Another shot from the one on second and goal. White is into the end zone. Tampa Bay touchdown. So the toss play effective even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense commits too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon. And this time, he had the speed to win that race. McLaughlin now to add the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive, 80 yards, nine plays. And it was Rashad White who wrapped the drive up with a touchdown run. Touchdown. Here's McLaughlin to kick off. And this take it in at the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Titan offense now working their way back onto the field. They trail a one score deficit 14 7 as they come up first and 10. Back to throw, it's Levis. And that 
that's incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught, they got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Second and ten, here's Levis. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know there's probably another throw coming out third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. The offense on third down, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and ten. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he'll kick it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick, this one in that neighborhood as well. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. Well, Rashad White and the rest of this Tampa Bay offense going back to work now. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at their own 23. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it's second down. to throw Mayfield. Open man, it's Palmer. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And now we've got a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun, Mayfield. Working the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking of throwing to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. Now a give up the middle. This is White. And he's up over midfield and down into Tennessee territory. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Now second and five. Opting to run again here with White. And he'll be brought down. It looks like right at the 40. 55 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. And this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. They run straight ahead here with White. A good move on the carry, but still brought down just inside the 40. That tackle by Jeffrey Simmons. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On the give, it's White. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot, he had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you. 
and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. And this one is no good. He missed it, and this will remain a one-touchdown game. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little. Derek Henry all alone. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one, 28 yards on the ground. Good, strong, explosive run that started inside, which means you've got to control those defensive linemen, the defensive tackles, the nose guards. Those guys have to be controlled. How about the offensive line, the job they just did? Yeah, key that A-gap usually on those runs, right? That's where it all starts because everyone wants to kind of control that area. It disrupts things from the defensive side and the offensive side. Blitz coming and down he goes. The safety blitz turns out to be a great call defensively as they sack him for a loss of nine. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it, it's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. On second down, here's Henry. And a solid run down inside the 30. It's a gain of seven on the ground, but they'll be faced with third and long. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blues guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Levis on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You got to make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. Henry will score. Touchdown, Tennessee. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come and have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Now Fulk for the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So that drive spanned five plays. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. They begin the drive on the ground. It's right. Trying to run in. 
inside, but nothing there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold him to no gain. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. 68 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance and guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. Kyle Phillips deep for Tennessee. A call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and it'll be Titan football. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Along with Henry on first down, but nowhere to go there as he can't even get back to the line of scrimmage. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. He gets them a little over half of what they needed. Now they're looking at a third and five. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. The Titans on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and five. Now Levis. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Levis looking to throw. A short throw taken in by Conquo. So the completion good for seven there, and it's second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred the defense. Had an open man that time, man. Don't put a little too much heat on it, don't you think, Parker? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Steady fired an absolute bullet. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Levis. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Titans first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he'll get this underneath to Henry. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime.
So maybe just a momentary setback on what's been a great drive so far, but second and 13 here. Levis sets up to throw here. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Phillips. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 35. 18 yards the gain for number 18. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. The drive keeps moving. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Here's Levis. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Looking for trailing Brooks that time. And it's third down. Levis from the gun. This will go to Henry out wide. So they'll get nothing out of that play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter so with two ticks left here in the half on is the field goal unit right hash mark a 42 yard attempt and the 38-year-old vet able to split the uprights, and that will do it for this first half. So we reach halftime here with the visiting Titans taking the lead into intermission. As we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This is a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. It was Derrick Henry, as he normally does, making his impact felt in that first half. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start the third quarter. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football. And now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They have not gotten him going at all. Tried to spark something there with a longer throw, unable to complete it. But you have to keep trying. He's one of their best playmakers. No matter what it says on the scoreboard, you're always trying to get him the football. Here's second and 10. Running out of the gun with White, and he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. 
They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. On third down, Mayfield. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. The Titans offense gears up for their first possession of the second half. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Second down, they go again with Henry. They're able to push his way through. A solid stiff arm. 91 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. In this defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. First and 10, it's Levis. He dumps it off for Henry. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss. And they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble. And now it's third down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice humble slide there to avoid the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lob has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. They keep it with Henry on first down. And down inside the 15 he goes. 17 yards on that play for the Titans. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll run it again with Henry. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. When a drive goes this long, you have to give a lot of credit to the guys up 
front, those big fellas, because the offensive line is putting something together that allows them to continue to control the ball. And I know a lot of people think they get fatigued on a long drive. Actually, a lot of times the reverse happens. They actually get energized because they're controlling the ball. And, and he's going to go down, sacked right around the 17. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. He seemed to have a reasonable amount of time in the pocket, but he couldn't get rid of the football, and the end result, Charles, him on the ground. Yeah, he's got to keep an internal clock to go along with his offensive line. When you're talking about three, four, five seconds, that's a reasonable amount of time to expect to deliver the ball downfield. So great to try and complete a pass, but it's equally important to know when to throw the football away, too. Folks, kick is good, and they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The Tampa Bay offense set to go again. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And this is caught by Evans. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who could turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Mayfield to throw it. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And Godwin going to have a box first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. Throwing, Mayfield. That's taken in by Palmer. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Call that a very strong gain of 24. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10, right at the 40. Mayfield with it once more. Throw out right, it's brought in by Otten. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Mayfield off the play fake. Got a man and he hits him in stride. Two yards on the pickup there, and that's going to bring up second down. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. <laughs> Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You talk about a guy weighing in the 270 range. 
But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Mayfield. Forced out to his left. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. Like any team playing, they're looking for touchdowns to try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer at least if they think a field goal turns out to be the better call here. Chase McLaughlin now for the field goal try. This is a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. And his kick is indeed good. And that cuts the lead down to just three, 20 to 17. So he missed that field goal earlier, but he says not this time. Able to knock it through, give his guys three. I like his poise. I like his confidence, his belief in himself. Sometimes when you miss that first one, you'll see a lot of guys sag and they can't make the next one. Not in this case. Stepped right up like a pro. After the main field goal, here's McLaughlin back out there to kick it away. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. And Derek Henry and the rest of the Titans offense about ready to roll again. He's had a good third quarter. He likes whatever adjustments were made at halftime, whether those were team adjustments or just him talking to himself. And whatever that conversation was, it was pretty good because he is running really well here in the third quarter. But I like to think it is a team adjustment. Offensive line, those big escorts of his, they figured out how to block a little bit better, and he's found those holes to run through. He has indeed. They begin with Henry. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 129 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Again, it's Henry to about the 35, second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Back to throw, it's Levis. Phillips has it, one of the out route. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 13 yards is the pickup for Tennessee in a first down. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who could not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. First and 10, here's Levis. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Hopkins. And yeah, they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at the 46-yard line. Second down and four. Levis back to throw. Going to the right here and finding Burks. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 33. 13 yards as the quick slant keeps the drive moving. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. A first down carry for Henry. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower. That front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. 
Levis now on first and ten. On the slant, Burks. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Tampa. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll try and run for it with Henry. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Derrick Henry with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Titans get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, I think Josh Norman can sympathize. He knows a little something about a run like this from Derrick Henry. I mean, that stiff arm might be the best in the business. Oh, there's no doubt about it. And we'll see that Josh Norman play forever and ever, won't we? Because at Derrick Henry's size, 6'3", nearly 250, you know he's not shying away from contact. And here he just kept the defender at arm's length as he barreled his way into the end zone. I mean, just put that arm into the chest. And there he goes. Extra point up and good by Folk. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. This taken in right around the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He gets it over the middle to Palmer. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Here's a second and five. Mayfield looks to throw over the middle to Evans. And he's taken down right away at the 39-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Offense. And they get Tristan Worf's first-round pick in 2020. Still first down. They'll go up the middle with White. Two yards on the pickup, it'll be second down. Well, obviously they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. Second and 16. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. That is caught, it's Chris Godwin. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? So operating from Tennessee territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. Oh, fighting off the defender. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Aziz Alshair, former 49er, in on the tackle. 
Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. From the 46, here's the second down and nine. To throw, Mayfield. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. To about the 26 here. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Here's a second and eight. They go play action. Mayfield. Over the middle complete. That's White. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that's going to bring up third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. I apologize in advance, partner, but the beef eaters on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. Well, we got beef eaters licking their chops and tasty dish in one fell swoop. I did apologize in advance, didn't I? Yeah, you did. That line's not eating tofu, I'll tell you that much for free. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. After the main field goal, here's McLaughlin back out there to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Derrick Henry trots back out there and gets ready to go. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. And he's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see a back just kind of have a grin on his face every time his number is called because he doesn't feel like there are going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big-time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. Levis to throw on first and 10 here. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Devin White defeating the offensive line and getting to the quarterback. If they're able to come back to tie or win this game, I think this is a play that we're going to look back on as the game changer. They really changed the tone and what the opposition wanted to do when they're trying to run some time off the clock and add to its lead late in this contest. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Levis to throw it. Throw right side, going to be taken in by Henry. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. He's got Derrick Henry again, back-to-back -back catches. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll bring up second down. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back, on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. Levis from the gun. 
Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Phillips. The result only four yards there on the play. And now one yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and short, going with their tight end. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. Someone moved, flag is out, that's gonna be five yards. And that'll drive coaches crazy. You work all week on dealing with loud crowds, on dealing with motion, and then you have a guy jump. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. Levis. He's taken down. Joe Tryon Shoyinka showcasing the pass rush. But it's been a little bit of feast or famine because he's thrown for decent yardage, and obviously they've got the lead, Charles, but now he's been sacked four times. And what I'm focusing on is his toughness in the pocket because you mentioned the feast or famine part. He's played well in between being dumped on his back, but every time he's had a chance to throw the football, he's been impressive. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Levis sets up to throw here. And when you're in a one-score game in the second half, now's not the time to force the football to places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. Levis looking to throw. And now another one thrown incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. This is taken at the 18. That'll go as a 46-yard punt with a return of seven. And that will come the offense as they take over. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, yeah, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting off field only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly... They're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. And this is caught by Evans. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Seven catches for him now in this last one, the first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots a first down throw from Mayfield steps away to his and he can't find a receiver and he's brought down it's Jeffrey Simmons that time who got in to record the sack well many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation they keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger instead they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of that huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult it's now second down and 22 yards to go oh, the pressure 
too great, and he goes down once more. That's Aziz Al Shair getting through for the sack that time. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Here's Mayfield. Harold Landry, the offensive line is in tatters as that's now three sacks in three plays. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. And they've got a fourth down now in a game that, to be honest, has been pretty much everything we could have asked for. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And now, boy, the ball's going to go over on downs here inside the 10-yard line. So now let's look at the situation. They do have all three timeouts remaining. So barring a first down, they could conceivably get the ball back. So now it's all about defense and stopping the clock. Don't give up any yardage, right? Use your timeouts. And your offense always practices going downfield without timeouts. You know, those two-minute drills, most of them are run in practice without the benefit of timeouts. They want to make it as tough a situation as possible. They're in it right now. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll give Henry another shot. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Derrick Henry, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Titans have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, this, of course, set up by the stop a moment ago on fourth down. And now that might be the score that puts this one officially out of reach. And it's a tough one because your hands are tied when you're losing in the fourth quarter because you know you've got to make something happen. They couldn't pick up the first down, and after that, the air just went right out of the balloon, and you knew you were looking at a defeated team. Full connects on the extra point, and the lead now up to 14. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So Mayfield and the Bucks down by two touchdowns. A minute 45 to play. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Mayfield to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Second and six coming up. Now Mayfield. Pressure comes and down goes Baker Mayfield. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts 
as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Mayfield. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, this is getting close to a no-win situation now. They've got one final shot. They're on their end of the field, and it's fourth and long. This might require a little extra razzle-dazzle to get it done. Got to avoid the flags defensively. Here's fourth and long. Desperation time. Mayfield on fourth down. He's going to let it fly. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. The Titans go victory formation down to a knee. Levis takes a knee here, and that should just about do it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. And the kick is good, so you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet, but until then, this game's over. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it.